Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host, Jolisa Coddell, and I'm super excited you guys to be here on today. God is so faithful. Like, I am, like, officially saying goodbye to May of 2019. Like, next week, it will be June. Like, that's so unreal. It's crazy, but God is so good. But um, I'm super excited. I pray each and every one of you had a phenomenal, blessed Memorial Day. Um, I pray that we took time to, you know, think about those brave, honorable men and women that have sacrificed their lives so that we can have safe lives in the So, let's pray that you've been praying for those different soldiers that, you know, are so courageous to just sacrifice their own lives so that others and their families can have safe lives. And I pray you have been looking up your prayers. So, I'm super excited, you guys. It is May the 27th. And I'm super excited for what God has for us on today. So, as you saw from the thumbnail and little clips on my Instagram channel and my Snapchat and Facebook, you guys, make sure you guys follow me. It's super simple, it's free, it's super easy. But if you guys have seen those sneak peeks of this video, then you already have seen what this is going to be about. And I'm super excited about this. Um, it is not sponsored, just in case you're wondering. Um, God just put it on my heart. And I really good friends through acting with my big brother and Mr. Joseph and I'm super excited to hear that God blessed him with a role in this Christian film and I was like I was gonna reach out you know just with the Lord you know has almost in my heart for a reason so I reached out and he was like oh my gosh Julissa I'd be honored to be on your show and to share you know my experience and what God has with so I have a prayer to encourage you to just go for it God gives you an idea pray on it to God this you and I reveal it to me and it'll go smoothly and that's what happened in my situation so whenever you get an idea from God make sure that it's God or writing it down praying about it asking you know, others that are Christ-like minded around you about it and you'll bear you'll bear witness to the Holy Spirit that this is what God wants you to do and it'll flow it won't be hard it won't be difficult but it'll flow so yeah, I'm super excited. So if you don't know, um, Priscilla Shire and the Kendrick Brothers had this super awesome film coming out pretty soon in August, and it's entitled Overcomer, and I'm super excited about it. I'm going to put some clips um, here throughout the home entire video um, of what, you know, the trailer looks like and the picture of it, and it's Priscilla, Priscilla Shire is in it. We all know her from the war room and just her amazing powerful preaching so i'm super excited about this movie because you know this channel we talk about jesus god the holy spirit that's what we talk about here okay so i'm super excited to just showcase to you an interview where i was able to um you know reach out to my big brother and just interview him about the movie and his experience and how god has humbled him and his faith you know just just the endurance of his character within the movie and then of course his real life with his family and his wife and him being a firefighter for Raleigh, North Carolina so I just wanted to pay some homage to another soldier you know that I know of so I'm super excited you guys so you guys can you know get some popcorn um just enjoy what he has to share and I'm super excited so we're gonna pray in um we're definitely gonna let the lord have his way um and i'm super excited like this is so fun so um if you're gonna see the movie please comment below because 
I want to go see it. I pray you guys want to go see it. So if you're going to go see the movie, comment below. If you have never heard of the movie, I'll put the trailer in my description box below because it is going to be life-changing. I already know just because I've seen some clips of the storyline and I've had a chance to like, you know, see some behind the scenes stuff just from, you know, knowing Joseph. So I pray that you guys are as excited as I am because I'm super excited to see this film. So let's go ahead and get to this interview and the Holy Spirit have his way. It's your boy Joseph Curtis Callender. I got a couple of questions here from the Butterfly Ambassador herself, Jalissa Ware, that I'm going to uh, try my best to answer. Um, so uh, here we are, and uh, let's go. Let's go do it. Let's see. First question, how has my faith increased with the filming of the movie Overcomer? Um, I will say that my faith has not increased uh, as much as it has continued on in a journey. Um, my faith has taken me uh, to um, many uh, places uh, in the past, um, including movie sets such as Overcomer, and that it was based in my own belief through God of what my capabilities were. Um, so doing Overcomer was just an added blessing on top of everything else. Um, I got to say, though, that it did place me in the company of other faith believers and other um, Christian-based um, uh, philosophy and it was a beautiful experience uh, it was awesome because um, the Kendrick brothers are they're pretty cool people man and uh, everyone else that was on the set and I got to say that everyone was very real everyone was very um, focused on what they were supposed to do and it was just like any other movie set but in the end um, you know that you were at a special uh, point um, in filming whenever we stopped uh, in the middle of filming just to pray about a situation. Before we started the filming of the day, we prayed about the situation. There was an ultimate grace over all the catering and all the eating and all of that stuff that was going on, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, I can say my faith has uh, is more of a journey that I'm on rather than just increasing per spot that I land as far as um, filming goes or whatever place I am in life. Faith is a journey, and it has taken me many places in life, and I am thankful to God for that. Let's see, next question. What were the trials that I had to overcome to receive a role in the movie Overcomer? Where do I start? <laughs> I was actually up for the role of the lead um, uh, male role. Uh, who the, Cameron Arnett played the father to the main character in the movie, and he does an excellent job. Um, but I was up for that role. Uh, originally and I had to audition about five, four or five times um, back and forth from Raleigh to Atlanta um, every other week or so uh, because the callbacks were based on me and the lead that's all I ever knew about that in the movie and uh, they could not decide between myself and Cameron Arnett uh, it was a tight race in the end they went with Cameron Arnett uh, it, you know it goes like that sometimes um, but uh, as I'm walking out the office they offered me the role of the football coach in the movie um, so, uh, once again, if you're talking faith, you got to go with what God is saying. And I got to say that, um, you know, when God closes one door, maybe there's a bigger opportunity waiting down the line. So big ups to you, Cameron Arnett. This is your big opportunity. Hey, I played a coach and, uh, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. So, you know, it's all right. Uh, we had a great time, like I said, and he is a great actor. Um, and we had a, we had a ball on set, so. Let's see, who next? Who next? What next question? Uh, as a man of integrity, what prayers or scriptures encourage you to remain humble around the face recognition actors and actresses face? Uh, it's easy to remain humble because there ain't nobody recognizing me right now, okay? <laughs> so, uh, but uh, the scriptures that I stick to are the real basic ones, um, but I will say that there's a there's a um, part of the Bible where Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane and he's constantly asking the Lord um, or there's a main point to his prayer when he's pleading to the Lord, sweating blood, saying, yet not by my will, but by your will, Father. So um, that is very humbling and that keeps me in a centered space because in the end, it's not about us. It's about God, period. So. No matter what you want to do, no matter what you think your plans are, God's going to tell you what the real plans are. And ultimately, what he has is better. I've come to find that out. 
Let me see. Then next, 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 next. Explain my experience working on set with Priscilla Schreier. Was it humbling or a learning experience? It was all of that. And I got to tell you that Priscilla is gracious and amazing. She was a ball of light. Um, just to come into the same room with her, you know, she had everyone on set looking to her. Um, and uh, she would she would probably deny that, but um, everyone was looking to her. She pretty much carried um, a lot of the scenes that I was in uh, with her. And um, everyone kind of looked to her because she's had that Kendrick Brothers experience now, probably about three movies now. Uh, she's awesome. She was awesome. She was open and Talking to Priscilla was like talking to someone that you've known for, for ages. Um, she was very, very um, gracious and accepting. Uh, next question, next, next, next question. Next, this is a long one. Um, as, a, as a husband, man of faith, father, firefighter, you have learned to protect your peace, your family, and the lives of others through faith. What wisdom would you give to men who are running from purpose uh, to ensure how to propel them into purpose? honor God and family with their purpose. Simple is this. Keep it simple. That's all you got to do. People try to do too much with faith. They try to do too much with their, uh, their prayer life. They try to do too much with their, uh, if they don't know God, they think they have to do an overabundance of, of jumping around and reading and, and, and excessiveness for God. And all God wants you to do is it just simply talk to him like I'm talking to you right now? That's a great place to start. Whatever is on your mind, God already knows it. He already knows what's in your head. He knows the thoughts, words, and deeds that we perform each and every day. So there's nothing you can hide from God. So in the end, keep it simple. Go to a quiet room, a quiet place, a quiet walk, and just talk. That's the beginning of everything else that grows out of that. Don't let what you see everybody else doing, the super Christians and everybody else that you see doing, doing too much. Don't do too much. Keep it simple. I guarantee you that small, quiet voice within you will flourish into a life that you want for yourself, that life of purpose. That's what's up. Okay, Jalissa, this is, this is a good one. Define Joseph in seven words is the next question. Uh, uh, faithful. Faithful. Without faith, you, uh, you're you afraid to make the first move. Ambitious. Definitely ambitious. I've been ambitious since day one. Uh, sometimes to a fault. Uh, passionate. Definitely passionate to a fault. Um, I love very hard. Um, I believe very hard. And sometimes that that uh, leads me to, to great disappointment. Great disappointment. The ambition and the passion leads me to great disappointment, but it's also my greatest motivator within my faith. Keeps me coming back. I'm always in the fight. Uh, loyal. I'm very loyal. Once I'm down for you, I am down for you. Okay? Don't do me wrong. Doesn't mean I can't forgive you, but once I'm down for you, I am down for you. And I expect the same sometimes. Not that I expect a lot back in return, but, you know, hey, y'all, we need each other in this world. You know, why are we being disloyal? In a world of what we have going on politically and in this country right now, uh, you need the right people in your corner. You need the right people in your daily work life. You need the right people in your family life. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I'm dependable. I'm definitely dependable. Uh, disciplined, without a doubt. I was in the Marine Corps for four years. And uh, it took a lot of discipline to get through that. It takes a lot of discipline to be on set, to be uh, in film, in television, in theater. If you truly love and have a passion for theater and acting and, um, uh, hey, faith, prayer, going to church, uh, fellowshipping, serving, it takes discipline sometimes. There are times that you do not feel like doing it. But it's your discipline that tells you, to, hey, come on, pick yourself up and let's go. Let's do it. It's not about me. God first. Uh, I am hopeful. I wouldn't be able to get up every day if I didn't cling to hope. If I didn't have a hope for something good to happen each and every day. And Jesus is going to be my seventh and last word because he is the last word. He is the first, middle, and last word.
Uh, Jalissa, uh, this next question tells me to share my heart, whatever it, God gives me. Um, how can people stay in touch with my film career? I would love for you to stay in touch with my film career and let's see where this thing goes together. Um, I can't tell you that I've done enough to where I feel, you know, remember the ambition, where I feel that I have a big career yet because I have certain ambitions of where I think I should be. However, God is going to make whatever possible happen, whatever is in uh, his sights, whatever he wants, whatever, uh, when it's not about me, it's about him. So um, it's not by my will, but by his will. So I would love for people to follow me. Um, and what I've done thus far has been a dream come true, has been um, a blessing by God and has been that bigger door that is open and I just hope it continues I pray that it continues right now people can follow me on IMDB page that's my most complete uh, background of uh, uh, cinema work television work even commercials um, but you can also follow me on my Facebook page and my Instagram page all under Joseph Curtis calendar you got to get my middle name in there because oddly enough I've come to find out that there's a couple of Joseph calendars in the world Joseph Curtis with a C, calendar, and you can follow me there. Hit me up. Let me see, any other, oh, that's it. Well, hey, Jalissa, that's all of it. Jalissa from Butterfly Ambassadors Ministry. It's been great being here. It's been great doing these questions, and I had a good time. And remember, you guys, count it all joy. Whatever it is, count it all joy. It's an opportunity to give God the glory. Okay, friends, so after just, you know, hearing my, my big brother just, you know, pour his heart out and just be honest and transparent and simple, I love that he gave that just, you know, simplistic answer because a lot of men are simple and it's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes God gives us wisdom that is, you know, simple. And some say common sense, but I just believe that the Lord has a strategic way of how he how he gives us wisdom, you know, how he allow, allows us to understand him. So there's some situations where he just wants it to be simple, you know, not, you know, not complicated. Because, of course, God is not an author of confusion. So he is simple. It's, it's full of love, full of truth. And that's what God wants us to understand with our faith walk. So I pray that your maturity, you know, grows within the Lord. I pray that, you know, your endurance grows, your patience increases. I pray that, you know, as you have a goal in mind, that you speak to God about it. You know, talk to him just like you're listening to me. Talk to God the same way you'll talk to, you know, your mother. You know, you honor and respect your mom and your dad, you know. That's how you used to talk to the Lord because he knows on your heart. He knows in your mindset. He already knows what you've been through. He, he has your entire life planned out. He just wants you to follow his perfect will. So I pray this video bless you guys. It's a little different, but I'm super excited for this series. Just, you know, how has God, you know, transformed your heart so that you can become an overcomer? Because we're victorious in Christ Jesus. So, you know, express, you know, comment below, like, how have you overcome situations in your life? Like, what scriptures, what prayers has really you know, helped you in your walk, your, your journey, your faith with God. I would love to know. And if you have any prayer requests, please do not hesitate. Comment them below. If they're a little bit more private, then just give our ministry an email at butterflyambassadors at yahoo.com. And I just, I'm super excited um, just for this movie coming out, Priscilla Shire. If you're watching this, girl, God bless you. Thanks for your obedience and your gracious spirit. And I'm just super excited for the Kendrick Brothers, another film from this dynamic, powerful men of God. Like, I'm just super excited. So I pray this video bless you guys and um, look forward to the video coming up August of 2019. God bless you guys. It's Jalisa Cogdell. I'll see y'all next Monday in june oh my gosh like next month i'll see y'all next month so god bless you guys i love you so much but god loves you even more so see you later bye